close to our full response on that. Suspect, come out with your hands up. Ken Ballinger can tell you a thing or two about danger. He's the leader of the most technologically advanced SWAT team around. They've been called in to face countless life and death scenarios. To help them out, every team member wears life-saving technology, including Blitz. He's a high-tech pup who risks his life right alongside them, one heart-pounding step at a time. When first responders arrive on the scene, it's usually the most dangerous time. There's no details of what's happening. Well, 21st century technology is changing that. These guys have a mobile command center that backs them up and keeps them safe and sound. Ken's here to walk us through the tech. Ken, how's it going? Good, Lucas, how are you? Some of the uh, sensors that Blitz has are sewn into his body, and that is to allow us to safely monitor his physiological condition. Oh, wow, uh, so Blitz is a little bit of a cyborg, eh? So he is, right, oh, yeah, exactly, wow. yeah, that we call him the robotic dog. So, um, so uh, that allows us to make sure that not only are we um, working him safely, but humanely, and that he's within the parameters of what we know in training he's capable of handling. It sounds mind-blowing. Ken, is there any chance I can see Blitz do his thing? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to put it to the test today, for sure. All right on. Because this team gets called into highly dangerous situations, it takes a <laughs> lot of specialized training. So intense and so real that on one occasion, Blitz almost didn't survive it. About a year and a half ago, he succumbed to a heat emergency. My police cruiser that was equipped with the proper gear to ensure his safety failed. And by the time we got back to the car, about maybe 20 minutes later, he had overheated and he had actually gone into a, have a full heat stroke. The good news is, is we were able to save the dog that day. Because of Blitz, the company Blue Force had an idea to prevent this from ever happening to another police or military dog again. These guys are experts in internal sensors for animals. From something very bad came something really good. Within, uh, I think, three months of Blitz's initial overheat, he was the first dog in the world that was uh, implanted. Blitz has been implanted with a tiny sensor the size of your pinky. The device is, is designed to measure the dog's uh, physiology. What's going on inside of him is telemetry to, to make sure that he is healthy. In addition to the sensor, Blitz wears a protective vest with a camera attached to the top allowing Ken and the rest of the team to monitor what's in front of him at any time of the day or night. This dog has saved more bad guys' lives than it has uh, taken because we can see where they're hidden, how they're hidden, whether they're armed, if they're not armed. Gone are the days eventually of the big command vehicle. Now, as teammates from one person to the next on their smart device can see all of the things all of the time as they occur. When guys are having to go into harm's way, for them to be able to have three to five seconds of notice or three to five minutes in some cases, based on the sensing platforms on the, on the dogs and on the teammates, it allows us to be able to, to just operate more safely. Today, I'm part of the team to put this tech to the test. Well, Ken, I'm all suited up. What kind of tech do I have in the kit? So you've got a bunch of things that are going to connect you to Blitz and make us a whole team. So this small device here is an environmental sensor to detect things in the environment that are actually dangerous to us. So that is the reason why we have the smart device here. This is the center of our, I guess, sensing universe. It connects you to me, me to you, us to the machines, and us to our dog, and us to our teammates. So it allows us to be able to operate um, on one pane of glass, more or less like your dashboard in your car to, to say whatever things that we're attached to, we can all do it out of one small supercomputer in your pocket. Unbelievable. Training is over, and I can already feel my heart pounding. We've got a person that's hidden. Uh, he's a barricaded suspect from us. We're gonna assume that he's armed. We're gonna use Blitz and the technology on you guys, and as well as the dog, and see if we can locate him and get him to surrender. Oh man, he is ready to go. I cannot wait to see him in action. Blitz takes charge and leads the team. Nothing there, fellas. A little bit of odor response right there, guys. Yeah. Nothing around that corner. Yes, yeah, so odor response right there, guys. Good passive response on the door. Suspect, come out with your hands up. Keep your hands where you can see him, suspect. High above your head. Walk towards the dog. Keep walking towards the dog. Keep, the Keep hands your hands up. right where you can see him. Walk towards the dog. Blitz performed exceptionally well today under pressure. We can see his location, body temperature, and respiration. A little high, but still in the safe zone. Ken, I knew that was a controlled situation, but going into it, my heart was pounding and my adrenaline was going. Like, that was intense. This technology, both the implanted stuff, allows us to know that he's safe physically, but also the stuff that's uh, mounted to him allows us to know that we're safe within that environment and so that if he does get into an issue, that we can respond properly and more informed. It's so crazy to think that the computers that we keep in our pockets on a daily basis is able to get this kind of functionality. Sure, yeah, absolutely. I kind of want to run through it again. <laughs> OK, 
Hey, Blitz is ready. 